Welcome, and thank you for joining us for another gripping episode of Dread Captures. Do you see that? Today's journey is set to be an electrifying blend of thrills, chills, and the kind of scares that will have you on the edge of your seat. We're here to inject a dose of excitement with spine-tingling clips that promise to thrill and excite. What the f is that? We are humbled and value your time here with us, so without further delay, let's get into the captures. All right, guys, so this first video could be the most debated one I've come across. The original video had over 6,000 comments. Okay, as the story goes, a woman and her husband were riding the back roads one night when they collided with something. The woman pulls out her phone and starts recording. Now, initially, they most likely thought it was a deer they hit, very common, but the wife wanted to go back and be absolutely positive they hadn't hit a person, or even worse, someone's dog. Now, what I'm about to tell you was one of the most heavily debated parts of the comments, but for perspective, the woman is filming in the rear view camera that's inside the vehicle. That didn't register for some people. Anyhow, enough stage setting, let's check it out. Hit something. Is that right there? Oh my gosh, go. Oh my. Now I'm going to show you the enhanced and slowed down footage. Like I mentioned, many viewers suggest that the video is fake because the encounter is too convenient. Just as they happen to record, they catch this on camera. However, you could say this could be true for any rare event captured on film. Skeptics argue the creature moves too much like a human, but others ask how can we know the gait of Bigfoot if it hasn't been documented? Believers point to the creature's enormous size, which some argue is too big for a person even in a costume, noting especially the being's long arms. Regardless of our opinions, this is quite the video, and it definitely has raised the most eyebrows I've seen in a while. The YouTube channel run by an individual named Johnny featured a video dubbed Bigfoot Family Sighting in Utah on January 3rd, 2011. This video became the source of quite the internet stir. Johnny alongside his children and their friends, ventured up the snowy mountains of Utah for a day of hiking and sledding. Here is where it gets interesting. The discovery would take place a few weeks later when he eventually watched the recorded footage. Johnny was blown away when, in three separate instances, he had footage of what he has described as a family of Bigfoot. The initial segment captures a Bigfoot walking into a little grouping of trees on the right of the screen. Look out, Josh. Nice. The second snippet captures the same, or a separate Bigfoot, peering at the group momentarily before vanishing from sight. Go ahead, somebody. Nice. The final sequence showcases what Johnny has presumed to be a third Bigfoot. This one showing more erratic movements. Good. You all right? <laughs> that was a nice little wipeout. Watch out, Porter! An expert weighed in and suggested that this particular figure might be hurt, given the way it's moving. He also noted that the creature could have dropped down on all fours to get away. And that's what we're actually looking at. Such behavior is typically exhibited by mature Sasquatches when they sense danger and they feel like they need to retreat. Critics have noted that the claim of three distinct Bigfoots could indicate a hoax, and I kind of agree. I mean, there's no evidence that those are three separate Bigfoot. They're all in the exact same place. I would assume that it's just one. Nonetheless, it's pretty cool footage and the argument rages on. Thank you. 
Heading off into the woods in search for mysterious creatures is a hobby for many cryptid hunters who believe in the paranormal around the world. They often explore uncharted woods to find signs of creatures thought to be just myths. Well, a recent video had many of these enthusiasts all hot and bothered. It showed that the Indian Army might have found new clues about the Yeti's existence. In fact, the Indian Army's official Twitter page for public information shared photos of what they say are Yeti footprints. These were taken near the Makalu base camp, a remote area on the Nepal-Tibet border. The video mentioned that the footprints were 32 by 15 inches, which is gigantic. The original tweet noted that the Makalu Barun National Park, where the photos were taken, is well known for Yeti sightings, and many feel that adds credibility to their discovery. On the other hand, some people are doubtful, pointing out that many scientific studies have already disproved the idea of a Yeti living in the Himalayas. Hmm, I don't know about that study that says they've debunked a Yeti living in the Himalayas. Sounds like a non-believer to me. This clip captures a supposed Bigfoot sighting in Provo Canyon, where the creature reportedly throws a rock at the person filming. The thing that really stands out to many viewers is how big the creature is and its incredibly long arms. <sighs> What's puzzling is if this is just someone wearing a costume, how could they throw a rock so well? Even if the costume had fake arms or prosthetics, it seems unlikely that someone could grab and throw a rock that far without using their real hands. We're going to take another look and enhance the video to try and understand this sighting a little bit better. Now, some people, and I get it, think it's just a costume, but they can't explain away how the rock was thrown with fake arms, no matter how they chop it up. This footage is actually from the same area as another famous Bigfoot video that got millions and millions and millions of views. And of course that doesn't mean that it's definitely now a Bigfoot, but it's certainly more intriguing than most. An interesting theory brought up in the comments is that if it's not a person in a costume, maybe we're looking at a creature that's adapted in unique ways. Perhaps this Bigfoot has developed a kind of tool using ability, like primates using sticks or stones. Which, that could explain the rock throwing. Or this skill might be a sign of higher intelligence or social learning among these creatures. Suggesting there's more to Bigfoot than just being a mysterious figure in the woods. Caught on a security camera near a busy pedestrian path is a video that's bound to give you the chills. Check this out. This footage shows a man standing alone, deep in thought, and seemingly oblivious to the world around him. However, as you can see in an instant, his demeanor changes. Something in his peripheral vision grabs his attention, causing him to jolt out of his trance. As we follow his gaze, we see two strange creatures dashing across a nearby rooftop. I mean, these guys are running with a sense of urgency, and that doesn't help us get a very good look at them. And look at the man. You can tell he is like, what just happened? Like, did anyone else see that? When we slow down the video, the outlines of the creatures become slightly clearer. Some commenters say they bear an eerie resemblance to kangaroos. Eh. I mean, unlike kangaroos, these guys are on all fours. But what's most fascinating to me is that this isn't an isolated sighting. People from different parts of the world, including countries such as France, Japan, UK, and the US have reported similar encounters. Everyone who's seen the footage is baffled. Could these creatures be a new yet to be identified cryptid? I mean, personally, I think we're looking at a Jersey Devil hybrid. For those that don't know, a Jersey Devil is a legendary creature often described as a flying biped with hooves. It has a goat's head, bat-like wings, and a forked tail. It's a prominent figure in the cryptic community. Hundreds of years of reported sightings and stories contributing to its legend as a supernatural beast. I looked and looked for more footage of this, but 
I don't know. What say you guys? In a video shared on Facebook by Clay Shiner, viewers are treated to the backdrop of an amazing sunlit forest. However, it quickly becomes apparent that the cameraman isn't after what's behind the woods. He's focused on what's in it. Check this out. Oh my God. Oh my God. Finally, can you see that? As you watch, a tall, dark figure emerges, walking from left to right and briefly pausing to look out from behind a tree. The mysterious figure soon dips back into the shadows of the forest, leaving the guy recording to repeatedly ask, Do you see that? Do you see that? Hey, just, do you see that? Do you see that? Oh my god. At first glance, the figure could be mistaken for a human, or even a bear. But here's the part that gets me. Watch this. Oh my god. I mean, look at those arms. Initially, I just saw a dark blob, but as soon as he outreached his arms, what? A still image from the video further highlights the creature's excessively long limbs compared to its upper body. Now, this raises the obvious question, is this a Bigfoot? But I'm thinking that it has to be some other type of creature. Man, I just don't know. I'll say this, to me this is either a cryptid of some sort that maybe we don't know about or this is just completely fake. Because those arms are definitely not from a human. This next clip I stumbled upon is freaking creepy. Let me just get that out of the way. So a homeowner had taken note of some odd things occurring around his home. The first things that caught his attention were the unsettling noises coming from the roof. However, things really went sideways when after a recent grocery shopping trip, he found the items he neatly just placed in the garage had been ripped open and rifled through. He had only been gone for a few minutes. And of course, the mystery didn't end there. Days went by and the homeowner still couldn't shake off the eerie feeling. The noises from the roof and all of outside of the home continued. Bound and determined to get to the bottom of this, he took a flashlight one night, went out to see if he could spot anything unusual. To his utter shock, while searching, he caught a glimpse of what appeared to be a figure or some type of being lurking on his roof. Bravely, and I mean bravely, he decided to climb up onto the roof and have a better look. But as soon as he shined the light toward the figure, it wasn't there. And then seconds later, he realized it had moved closer. He was so freaked out, he almost lost his balance. And that would have been a pretty bad fall from the roof. Now the being, which many commoners claim resembles an alien, or even the creature we all know as the rake, it for sure has a distinctive appearance, Pale skin, penetrating dark eyes, unusually large head. What the f is that? What in the f I mean, look, what is that thing? Ugh, it gives me chills. That is so creepy. And it looks small. I mean, I'd rather have an axe murderer on top of my roof than that thing. Anyhow, if you guys have any idea what this could be, let me know. I'm actually almost hoping that it is CGI. The original video uploaded to the Instagram page, Everything Cryptic, comes from an unknown source and has little background info. Nevertheless, here we are. It seems the people in the clip were just filming some wilderness shots when they unexpectedly found a very strong, aggressive creature. Check this out. Biologists and cryptozoologists alike believe Bigfoot generally has a calm, non-aggressive demeanor, and I would tend to agree. 
However, there are similar creatures like the Chinese Yuren and the North American Momo that are known to be rather mean and very protective of their area. The Yuren is said to live in the wild mountainous areas of central China. People say it looks a bit like Bigfoot or the Yeti, about six to seven feet tall with reddish brown hair and sort of human-like. Stories about this creature go back a long time and often say it's a creature that doesn't like to be bothered. And of course, even after many searches, no one has found real proof of the Yuren. Still, it's a very interesting part of Chinese stories and the study of unknown animals. As for Momo, or the Missouri Monster, he's another famous creature said to be located in the United States. Obviously in Missouri. Momo grew to fame in the 70s after people said they saw it near Louisiana, Missouri. Yes, that's correct, Louisiana, Missouri. Very similar build as the others, about seven feet tall with dark thick fur. His head was pretty round though, shaped more like a pumpkin they said, and he even had bright orange eyes. Momo was also known for a very bad smell like rotting flesh or death. I'm kind of bummed this video was so shaky and since we don't know where this video came from, it's pretty hard to say what the creature is. What do you guys think? I don't know that we'll ever know, but let me know where you think this took place. I'm thinking the US by the landscape in the background. Okay, so this is allegedly footage of a Bigfoot running down a hill. As you can see, he's orange and seems to be either running towards something or trying to get away from it. At one point, you can see him reach out and grab a small tree. Some people say that the way it moves so smoothly without using its arms is a clear sign the video is fake. Yet, the size of the creature makes others think it might be real. I mean, it's pretty interesting to think about what this video could really be showing if it's true. The orange color of the Bigfoot could mean it has a special way of adapting to its environment, or maybe its fur changes with the seasons. Which is not something usually said about Bigfoot. I mean, the fact that it doesn't use its arms much could mean it evolved differently, or maybe it's hurt. Whether the video is just a good trick or something truly unknown, it definitely gets us thinking about what unknown animals might still be out there in the wild. For as long as we can remember, people all over the world have been talking about Bigfoot. Some refer to them as yetis, a creature from Himalayan stories. In other areas, they're known as the abominable snowman. Many, many people claim they've seen signs of them in different places. However, mostly from afar. Well, in 2017, Scott Yeoman is pretty sure he saw one outside his house in Bailey, Colorado. And I'll say, the photos he took are quite eerie. So before taking them, Scott said he walked into his living room and something smelled foul, just awful. Like animal waste mixed with vomit. Something caught the corner of Scott's eye and he immediately thought there was a bear staring into his home. But as he got closer to the window, he began to think otherwise. In his photos, we see something that looks like an ape-like creature. It has black fur, a broad, flat nose, a face with these marks and deep black eye sockets looking inside the house. Yeoman says he quickly ran to grab his gun and the creature ran off into the woods. He called the cops and they looked at the photos. Two officers were as baffled as him, but one thought it was just a bear. Scott was annoyed at the one cop. He was adamant it wasn't a bear. Especially when he ran to grab his gun, he felt like the creature recognized that and ran off. A bear wouldn't have done that. People who saw the photos also had different ideas. One thought it actually might be an escaped gorilla, but mostly everyone thought it was Bigfoot. The creature's face is unusual and could be many things. Personally, I see a gorilla, but it's one of those things I can't unsee it now that I've seen it. Every time I look at it, it's still a gorilla. The eyes, the wide nose, but please, as always, take a look at the photos and decide for yourself. I'd love to know what everyone thinks. This clip shows a great spot for a trail camera. As you can see, a family of deer have come to the watering hole. After they mill around for a little while, they eventually leave. 
Here comes a beautiful bobcat checking out the trail camera. He's a pretty good size too. The owner of the property and camera says the cat is always on the hunt and he covers a lot of ground on this property. Later that night, a coyote shows up. Great footage from Mississippi. An elk has been killed, and this single mountain lion is in a battle with a pack of coyotes over the carcass. The cat is controlling the kill while the coyotes circle. The lion gives a big hiss, putting the pack on notice. For some reason, both parties leave the kill, but the coyotes are the first to get back to it. One coyote pulls it to the coyote side. Then you can see the lion dragging it back through the snow. As the video shows, after the lion fills its belly, he leaves for the final time, leaving the scraps for the coyotes. One coyote joyfully announces the cat's departure with a loud howl. The owner of the trail camera said the coyotes dragged the carcass to the meadow, where he found it the next morning. This next amazing video is from Michael outside in Arizona. While hiking in Arizona, Michael stumbled upon a tiny little rock bed that was retaining water. There weren't any trees, so he quickly fastened his trail camera to this rock. And boy are we glad he did. We see a vulture as the first visitor. And before we see any other animals, look at the temperature on the camera. Yes, 133, 133 degrees Fahrenheit. Unbelievable. I'm surprised that water isn't steaming. Six days later, only 90 degrees, a smooth 43 degrees cooler than the other day. Anyhow, we see a mama bear and her cub take a visit to the drinking hole. Well, they're going to use it as a pool too. Can't blame them for that. The little cub getting out all wet is adorable. Look at it. As the cub walks away, the look on the mom's face is priceless. Ugh. I know I have to follow him, but I just want to sit here and relax. These little guys show up. One attacks the camera. Then the majestic mountain lion comes for a long drink around noon. Showing up again about eight hours later with what looks to be a younger lion, most likely one of her young. All of these are just phenomenal trail cam captures. Snow leopards are often revered as some of the most beautiful cats in the world. They have adapted to life in the harsh, high altitude environments. They are solitary ambush predators known for their strong and agile bodies. And they're nothing to shake a stick at, they are capable of killing prey much larger than themselves mostly due to their powerful jaws and muscular necks. Well, we're going to see all of that and more on display in this next absolutely nutty video. Just as you think they're going to stop, they keep falling.
Would you believe it if I told you that the leopards suffer no injuries during this plummet down the icy mountainside? Yeah, me neither. However, this same leopard was spotted 72 hours later, looking to give something else a flying lesson. Just unreal. A video from 2010, taken in Algonquin Provincial Park in Canada, a passerby sees what they suspect is a Bigfoot on the side of the road. Many are calling it a fake. It looks pretty interesting. It's definitely something on two legs. However, that something could be a Sasquatch or someone playing a trick. My two cents is that it would be kind of odd just filming out the window and you accidentally capture a Sasquatch on film. I guess filming out the window really isn't that crazy. But anyhow, let me know in the comments what you all think about this video. This clip is great. I love this little girl's energy. She takes one look at that trail camera and she heads straight for it. If we're talking about fight or flight, this girl is all fight. This little cub reminds me of my youngest daughter. In our family, we joke around she's either going to be a lawyer or need a lawyer. In a recent video from the Voyager's Wolf Project, a rowdy little bear in Minnesota had an adorable run-in with this trail camera. The aggressive cub decided to fight the filming equipment while its mother was seemingly unconcerned about the destruction. Researcher Thomas Gable said he loved it. Quote, I actually laughed out loud when I first saw the footage. I wasn't expecting it at all, and it was hilarious to see the cub getting into mischief. I mean, I rewatched this footage probably four or five times just for fun, thinking to myself, how lucky are we to get this on camera? End quote. Very true. While the camera was temporarily disabled, it wasn't completely destroyed. So they'll still be able to catch plenty of footage. CCTV footage from the back of an apartment complex captured this creepy video. I stumbled upon it and wanted to know what you guys thought about it. As the video plays, two friends are walking and one magically disappears. As we play it again, it looks as if something beamed down and sucked him into thin air. At first I was calling BS, but the way his friend runs away almost makes it look real, genuine. I just don't know. Let me know how you all feel about this video. This is another creepy video taken only a year ago. The scene looks like it takes place in a junkyard or some type of industrial area. The video shows a ghostly apparition floating from the left side of your screen. You can see as the dogs get off of their pile of bedding or whatnot and come to investigate. They're barking and howling at the floating object. What could this be? As we zoom in to get a better look, I still can't make out what it is. The dogs are definitely spooked by the floating being. The end of the video is even creepier. What is this thing? This next clip comes from Homesteading Off The Grid, a popular YouTube channel documenting the lifestyle. This guy has tons of trail cameras set up all over his property. In this clip, something freaky's going on. I don't even want to admit how long it took me to actually find the figures in this video. And I'll save you guys the time by highlighting them. The first one sticks his head out from behind the tree on the right of the screen. 
definitely seems like a person or some type of creature. He's a black figure that peeks his head out and looks around for a minute, then pulls it back. This next part shows the dark object on the bottom left of your screen get pulled out of view. Watch that again. And again, we see the creature behind the tree on the right. Look, I don't know what's going on here. Does anyone else recognize these creatures? If this video is real, it's very intriguing. What could they be? I feel like it would be kind of strange for a cryptid to be out in the middle of the day. But let me know your thoughts. This next video displays some awesome trail camera footage taken out of New Hampshire. A turkey's hanging around a little clearing here and gets a tower buzzed by a hawk. Maybe the hawk was just saying hi. He definitely can't lift that turkey up. We see a beautiful coyote by a watering hole. And as the screen transitions, we see a very angry mama duck and she charges at the red-shouldered hawk, who seems unfazed. Unfortunately, the reason the duck is so angry is that out of screen, the hawk swooped down and swiped a duckling. Here we see a bobcat slink by another camera on the property with a light squirrel dinner. This next part is pretty cool. As the camera zooms in, you can see a coyote in the background. As a young buck comes into view, he's spooked. As we fast forward to the winter months, we can see some deer running, and then soon after, we see why. Possibly the same deer and the same coyote from the last clip. We see here, we see the deer stomping its hooves, swishing its tail and snorting. A telltale warning sign to the predator, as well as the other deer that are with her. As the deer retreat, we see the two coyotes. Man. Just phenomenal footage from a great piece of property. This next story is a heartwarming change of pace. Isabel Spriggett heard an awful noise coming from the woods behind her house. When she and her dog Kate went to check it out, they found an abandoned baby fawn. Isabel is a wildlife photographer and had actually photographed this deer a few days ago. She knew to leave the fawn where it was and was sure to keep her great Dane Kate away from it as well. However, the nearly unbearable noise went on for three solid days and Kate, the great Dane, couldn't take it any longer. She was begging her mom to let her go check it out. So they did. When the pair entered the woods, they found the fawn in the same place it was three days ago, and it seemed that the mother had really abandoned it. This time, they picked her up and took her inside and laid her on the dog's bed. And well, the rest is history. Kate took an immediate liking to the fawn, and from the minute she met her, she adopted the role as mother. The fawn, who they affectionately named Pippin, would suckle on Kate trying to get milk, even though she couldn't produce any. Sadly, Isabel said it was only a few weeks before baby Pippin wanted to venture back into the woods, and they didn't stand in her way. 
Pippin would spend the night in the woods, but would visit every single day. And Kate would even disappear for hours playing with the deer in the woods. And the next day, they would do it all over again. This is just an adorable, heartwarming story. It's cute how they nuzzle and neck hug each other. Just something we all need, an awesome friendship. This video is pretty impressive. A red tail hawk versus a crow. As we watch it again, you can tell the crow sees the hawk coming in at the last second, but just can't get out of the way quick enough. A pretty interesting tidbit from an expert. He said that red-tailed hawks will shy away from corvids because of how smart they are. Corvids employ several strategies to deter hawks, such as mobbing. And generally only as a last resort will a red-tailed hawk try to dive bomb a corvid like this. So he was either really hungry or saw the perfect time to strike. Ryan Twellman, a game warden from Franklin County, was summoned to a farm following a report from a landowner about two white-tailed deer whose antlers were stuck together. Upon arriving at the site, Twellman located the two bucks in the same condition as reported. Unfortunately, one of the bucks had already passed away while the other was still alive. Using a shotgun and a slug round, Warden Twellman was able to detach the antlers and release the surviving deer, which ultimately ran away unscathed. The warden gave the landowner a salvage tag for the deceased deer. According to the comments on Facebook, this type of incident is not uncommon. One commenter wrote that they had also come across a similar situation over the weekend, but sadly, both bucks had already died, and had likely been that way for over a week. Good work by the landowner and Warden Twellman. No matter how tough and resilient animals are, every now and then, Nature throws things at them that they just can't figure out by themselves. As we saw in an earlier video, sometimes animals just need a loving hand. In this clip from Michigan in 2019, Mark Johnson was out hunting with his dog when he spotted two bucks entangled with each other. Being an avid hunter and outdoorsman, Mark didn't think much of it. Of course he thought it was cool but he had seen bucks battling like this before. He was, however, impressed at how long they had been at it, how long they were fighting, and that's when he figured it out. They were stuck together. Mark knew he needed to help out, because what happens in these situations is that one, but most likely both deer, die from exhaustion or starvation and or coyotes move in for a kill. Knowing all that, Mark decided to call some of his buddies and told them what was going on. After the guys got a game plan, they grabbed some rope and a chainsaw used for cutting limbs and set out to free the box. They eventually found them wrestling near the tree line and tried to free them there, but the bucks became startled and pushed further into the woods. The deer eventually slid down an embankment and toppled into a little stream. With their necks twisted, this was a less than ideal situation. One or both bucks could have drowned. While the deer are laying there thrashing in the shallow water, the quick thinking man took his shot and freed the bucks by slicing one of the antlers. Man, that guy was like a surgeon with that thing. In and out, real quick. Both deer quickly stand up and tromp through the water in the other direction. I'm sure they were grateful for the hand they were lent. Coyote and deer are mortal enemies. There's really no other way to explain it. Two creatures thrown into the animal kingdom just trying to survive. Unfortunately for one of them, they are the prey. 
drone footage from a professional fishing charter captain specializing in fishing the flats of South Carolina captured this amazing standoff and battle between a single deer and a single coyote. As the drone zooms in from overhead, you can see the coyote dragging the deer out of the shallow water pool, but she's able to escape and gets back to the water. Now, I would traditionally say that the deer has an advantage here because they are much stronger swimmers than coyotes. However, the water is not deep enough for the deer to have any real advantage. The coyote is still able to use its strong legs while the deer's hooves are likely sinking into the soft marsh mud. This goes on for a few more minutes before the coyote gets and keeps the advantage. The rest of the video gets pretty gnarly, but to be conscious of some viewers, I'll link the full video in the description below. Bigfoot, also known as Sasquatch, is considered to be the most popular and well-known cryptid. Bigfoot is often described as a large, ape-like creature that is said to inhabit forests mainly in the Pacific Northwest region of North America. He is said to be bipedal, standing at around 7 to 10 feet tall, and weighing around 500 to 1,000 pounds. There have been many, many reported sightings of the creature. But this next trail cam capture is a pretty convincing one. A hunting guide named Craig Salk, who owns 80 acres of land in the Upper Peninsula in Michigan, has put up trail cameras on various parts of his property. He just loves to track the game that is moving through the woods. Craig caught a figure in the background of one of his trail cameras, and it's either a human or a Bigfoot. Now, Craig says no one should be in these woods without his permission, but we all know how that goes. As the video plays, you can see the deer in the foreground is the one that triggered the camera to snap the pictures but she's not what we're interested in. The mystery lies in the background. The trail cam took three pictures, but only one of them caught a bipedal figure in the background. Could this be a human? Sure. But what's he doing? Why isn't the deer afraid of him? Or these pictures could tell a story, and the story could be that there is a creature following this deer and just happened to get caught in one of the pictures. Like I said, the camera snapped three pictures. The figure was caught in the second one. I feel like if that was a human, he or she would have likely been seen in all three photos. A Bigfoot, on the other hand, might be keen to stay out of sight. Craig shared the photos to social media out of curiosity, and the Bigfoot Field Researchers Organization found the photo convincing enough to travel to Michigan. As the four members of the BFRO head to Craig's property, located right on the border of Wisconsin and Michigan, it is the exact type of dense forest a creature would inhabit. The foursome would spend a few nights and days on Craig's property. They were performing reenactments and searching for any reasonable explanation to verify or debunk this photo. Ultimately, the verdict was inconclusive. They could neither confirm nor deny what was in the photo. Having watched a decent amount of footage on this, the thing that strikes me is that Craig seems very level-headed and credible. He's not looking for notoriety or an award for finding Bigfoot. He's just a hunter who has pictures that he can't explain. So, what do you guys think? The photo definitely gets my wheels turning. Did Craig capture a photo of Bigfoot on his property, or is he just the victim of a well-orchestrated hoax? I'll let you guys decide for yourselves. Honestly, I'm not really sure what to say about this one here. At first glance, it looks like a creature hugging a tree for sure. You can see the semblance of arms wrapped around the tree and a head buried in the arms. But the more I look, the less I'm sure this is an actual creature. 
the original uploader said that this was supposed to be a baby Sasquatch. You be the judge. In September of 2022, a small town was notified that there was a young deer running around with an arrow stuck in itself. The deer was first spotted on a farmer's trail cam, and the farmer couldn't believe his eyes. Sure enough, someone had shot and hit the deer with an arrow, but the deer never fell. The trail camera footage was taken days before, so the deer was long gone. As word spread, people were looking for the deer in hopes of helping out. One day after work, a man pulled in his driveway. Surprisingly, he saw a young deer next to his house. He thought, well, this is strange, but then quickly noticed the arrow protruding from his side. The man was unaware that this deer had been the topic of the town conversation, but he sprung into action. And the deer, seemingly unfazed, was pretty lackadaisical about the whole situation. And luckily, the gentleman knew the arrow needed to be removed to help prevent infection or further complications. The man calmly approached the deer, covering its eyes to keep it calm. I think deep down the deer must have known that the man was there to help because he remained calm. The man was able to pull the arrow out relatively easily but for precaution took him to a wildlife clinic where he could undergo further examination. The wildlife veterinarian said the arrow missed major organs and miraculously settled into a pretty benign place on the deer. He would be sore, but he was ultimately released back into the wild. Thank goodness for that good Samaritan. In terms of physical strength, praying mantises are not particularly strong compared to other animals. But their strength is pretty impressive relative to their size and their hunting behavior. They are able to use their speed and agility to quickly grab and hold on to their prey, which is one of the things that makes them effective hunters. They are ambush predators. They wait and blend in with their surroundings to surprise their prey. And in this next clip, you're going to see that hunting in action. As you can see, the mantis is perched on the hummingbird feeder. The bird approaches and snatch. Unreal. Look at the mantis grab onto the beak of the bird and just not let it go. There's the relative strength we were talking about. The hummingbird tries to fly away, but the mantis just pulls him in. Mantises have a unique physical structure that enables the powerful muscles in their thorax and head to strike quickly and hold their prey. Safe to say we saw all of that in action. Just unreal camera footage. I didn't even know a mantis could handle a bird like that. Let me know in the comments if you've ever seen anything like this. I'll stop it here, but I'll link the full video in the description and it's worth the watch. I feel like coyotes are kind of like that annoying, mischievous second cousin that just can't do right. At least that's always how it seems when you compare the coyote and the wolf. The wolf is bigger and badder and more feared, and the coyote is just meh. Anyhow, this particular coyote is here to show everyone that he can do impressive things as well. As the video starts, you can see the coyote is interested in the tree, and if you look a little closer, you can see there's a dog bone tied, or somehow attached to this tree, and he wants it. What he does next is very impressive. He scales right up that tree, keeping his eye on the prize. Now I have seen videos of similar things, but I've never seen a wild coyote caught on a trail cam doing it. Now, I will say I have never once seen this, a coyote in a tree. I can't imagine walking out to work one morning and seeing this, a coyote eating berries out of my tree. I mean, what is going on here? Has anyone seen anything like this? I have so many questions. Why is he up there? How did he get up there? 
The lady filming sounds very calm about this, almost like it occurs daily. She even says, quote, There's our coyote eating berries out of our tree. This situation does remind me that I have heard about fruit farmers removing old rotten fruit from or around trees because of what it might attract. But honestly, when I think of that, this isn't what comes to mind. Let me know in the comments if you have seen anything like this. This is pretty amazing. This next clip is just incredible. But first of all, before we watch this next outdoor camera capture, the parrots in this video shot in Brazil are wild. They are not pets. So just remember that. Anyhow, as the camera rolls, you can see one parrot just hanging out near this water source. And pretty quickly another arrives. But he doesn't stay for very long. Wow. A boa constrictor hidden in the water bowl snatched him right up. As we watch it again, knowing what we know, you can tell the first bird is a little apprehensive. He takes a little nip of water, but then pulls back. I wonder if he senses something is in that water. I suspect the snake was just lying in wait for something to breach the water's surface, and when that second bird lands, you can see his tail just dip into the water ever so slightly. That's all the snake needed. Just an incredible wildlife event to capture on camera. Our next clip is a viewer submission from Ricky M. Ricky lives in the panhandle of Florida in a town named Bristol, bordering the Apalachicola National Forest, he says. Ricky likes to hunt anything he can find. <laughs> his words, not mine. In his area, he has a lot of wildlife. Deer, hogs, bears, panthers, gators, and even more. One evening, he and a buddy were checking Ricky's trail cameras. They were looking for a big gator that was suspected of taking a neighbor's dog, and Ricky knew just the camera to check. As the guy sifted through the footage, seeing the usual suspects, to his surprise, one of the cameras had captured an image of a strange creature. It was unlike any animal he had ever seen before. It had the body of a panther with the distinctive stripe pattern of a tiger, but also looked like it had the mane of an African lion. Ricky and his buddy were shocked. They knew what they were looking at wasn't native to that area. They had lived there their whole lives. He showed the pictures to the local wildlife officials, but they were just as puzzled as he was. They had never seen anything like it before. The picture created quite a firestorm locally, but still no one has been able to identify it. The creature has been dubbed the Tigon, a crossbreed between a tiger and a lion. I guess using liger was too mainstream. Anyhow, everyone and their brothers were buying trail cameras to try and catch another glimpse of the Tigon, but he has never been seen again. The mystery of how such a creature came to exist and why it was in the remote woods of Florida remains unsolved. It's all pretty crazy. Now I'm sure most know it's impossible for two species of big cats to mate naturally, but it is possible for them to be crossbred in captivity through artificial insemination. I don't know. My personal thoughts are, if this happened anywhere outside the state of Florida, I'd be a little skeptical. But Florida is known for being a little wild in some places, especially with all of the exotic animals that are imported into that state and then ultimately released when their owners can no longer provide for them. Maybe this is one of those. Nevertheless, I'm grateful for the submission and let me know if you've seen anything like this creature before or have any knowledge of big cats and crossbreeding. Our next few clips are a compilation from an awesome channel that gives us a really good glimpse inside nature. Now, I've seen bears using trees as back scratchers in the past, but this here 
is a great angle and it really gives some perspective. Look at him. He's barely pushing against that tree and it looks like if he gave it any force, it could uproot at any minute. I mean, I get it. There really is nothing better than a good, much needed back scratch. This next clip in the compilation shows some beautiful foxes. And man, let me tell you, they do not look like this in the part of the United States that I'm from. These guys are a cool looking silver and black with reddish underbellies. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think these are gray foxes. Red foxes are most common around me. And as you can see, they're having a little fun on this rock bed. I'd like to know the backstory of this clip here. The deer is stopped, the coyote runs by, and then the deer chases. Are they buddies or... The deer did look kind of annoyed when he passed the camera. Like I said, this channel has some beautiful trail camera footage. Check this elk herd hitting the water. It's phenomenal. Look at that backdrop. At first I thought they sensed a predator, and maybe they do, but this trail camera footage stays wholesome. Just a look into the beautiful wilderness. This next clip shows a nighttime battle of two bucks, most likely in rut. You see a buck tumble down a small embankment, then smash. Another buck antler butts him off the top. What a great capture. 